Mr. Merkage here and today I'm going to be showing you a quick follow up video from the previous one where I showed you how to export the contacts so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to import the contacts and add them at a mass rate um, if this will work with contacts that you don't already have in your contact list so let's say you exported them from your contacts you won't be able to add them because they're already on your list so you need contacts that you don't already have but I did say last video that it's useful if you're moving skypes and you don't want to lose them or you just have gathered a list or downloaded a list from the internet and want to add them that's how that'll work uh, so let's go ahead and start this off before this video started I quickly moved what we was doing last time because I need to make room for a list box so that'll be the first thing we're going to do is you want to grab a list box because this is going to contain uh, all of the usernames that we go ahead and import in a second so we want to put that somewhere down there and we also need a button for uh, import in the contacts into this list so let's just quickly rename this to import contacts and then we also need one more button uh, which we'll is stick that there and this will be for adding the contacts and just for the sake of my OCD I'm going to line this up a little bit because I didn't want that overlapping there we go so now if we go into this import code if you watch all of my videos you'll notice that the code I'm about to show you is the same as before because obviously uh, it's not going to differ so we're going to be having an open file dialog so we want to call this dim import and that'll be equal to a new open file dialog and what this does for the new people here uh, it basically it's one of those dialogs that pop up lets you browse your computer and select a file um, so that's what that's doing so when we import that we'll obviously want to select a text file uh, we'd also want to limit it to only let us select text files in that case so we can do that by saying import dot filter and that'll be equal to we can call it text file we want one of these lines here an asterisk and dot txt like that and that'll limit that we can also give it a title while we're at it so we can say import dot title and let's just call this um, import skype usernames and that will give us a filter to only let us put text files in and we'll just, we've just called it import usernames so now what we can say is if import dot show dialog is equal to dialog result dot ok so that means they've pressed ok so now we know that they've actually selected a file otherwise they couldn't have done that and because they've selected a text file we want to store all of the code into an array so we can say uh, let's call this all and that is an array and that'll be as a string and that'll be equal to system dot file oh sorry system dot io dot file dot read all lines and we have to specify the file name but because we selected a file from the dialog we can say import dot file name and that will do that for us so that's going to read all of the lines of the file selected and store them into an array and now we can access this array to do something and what we want to do with that is add them to our list box which is number two so now we can say list box two dot items dot add but we want to use add range in this case because it's not just one we're adding and all we want to add here is all because all is our all of our names that we imported so that's it for the import in the list so now that should load all of our usernames now we want to add them so let's go into the add code uh, usually you could just put it here but for the sake of the program being like running smoothly we're going to use a background worker and have it running on a separate thread uh, so how we do that is we quickly go into the toolbox and it's the very first one uh, we'll press background worker and that put it in for us right here uh, obviously I've got one before if you watch my videos again you would have noticed that I've used these in the past uh, so what we want to say here is we want a little loop we want to go through let's say we have 10 items in this box we want to go through them one by one and do something in this case we want to add them one by one so what we can do that by saying for i is equal to zero to list box two dot items dot count dot count minus one and inside here all we want to do is say o skype uh, sorry not oh, Skype I'm used to my main project Skype dot user because this allows us to uh, check the any user because if you 
uh, remember from the profile stealer we can check any user by using this so we can use the same method to send someone a uh, authorized request uh, but we need to know the username obviously the username will be stored here so we, because we got this loot we can say listbox2 dot items dot item and in brackets we want to use i because uh, that's part of our loop there and after that we can say dot body status is equal to and now we can choose what we want to do with them we want to send them an authorization pending like so and what that's going to do is going to go for each one and for each user it goes by in our little list box it's going to send them a or make them uh, send them a authorization request now after that we just want to quickly say if I if that if it's going to count each one so if I is equal to uh, list box two dot items dot count minus one then we can say here message box dot show and inside here we can just say all accounts were added and then obviously because we're done we no longer need the background worker so we can say background worker uh, two uh, and I think it's disposed to get rid of that yes yeah. so that's gonna take care of all of that once it gets to the end of the file and does the last username we've added them all and it's going to get rid of the background worker but now we just quickly need to start that so we just say background worker 2 dot run worker async there we go but obviously let's say no one imported the usernames and they still want it to start let's not let that start so the way we can do that is we can say if list box 2 dot items dot count is equal to 0 so that means if there's literally no items in that list box we can display a message box uh, dot show we can just say please import some usernames first and we can say else so if there is a user or if there is users in that list box then we want to start it uh, we just put that in there like so and that should be it so let's give this a quick run hopefully I didn't do anything wrong uh, so pre before this video I did actually go ahead and uh, make a something on my desktop uh, Skype users so obviously I pressed import users this is what I mean by an open file dialog you select the text file in this case I call it Skype users and we press open and you'll see it's loaded them into the list box here I've just come up with four random names um, it will attempt to still add them on Skype though so all we want to do now is press add contacts and it now it says all accounts are added so if we press OK and go to Skype back into Skype you'll see that uh, there we go we've got four accounts added so we've got the Paul, Josh, Bob and Joe and it says Mr. Merkage would like to add you on Skype so it will say that for each one of those if I go on to them and you'll see how fast it is like it adds them pretty much instantly uh, so there we go that's pretty much it uh, you can have as many as you really wanted on this list um, if you wanted a counter which I'll go ahead and sh I might as well show you while this video is running we can just shorten this a little bit if you quickly grab a label, put that there, line it up a little bit, and we'll just call this uh, total. And we want to copy that because we just want to use another one. We can call this one um, zero. And if we move this over a little bit, that is label 15. So if when we import our contacts just under after we've added them we can say label 15 dot text is equal to list box 2 dot items dot count now if we start that up again uh, this is not really necessary but if you just want an idea of how many accounts you're going to add at the one go it's pretty useful so we can go to that you say we've got total zero we can quickly go ahead and import that and you'll see now it's got total four so that basically reads how many there are and displays it here 
So that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.